Okay, we're back. What we were working on is subtracting, we're selecting the character and removing them from the background. We use a magnetic lasso to initially trace our character, and then we went into our pen tool and refined the tracing that we did with our uh, magnetic lasso. We selected the image with the magnetic lasso, converted the selection of the mag magnetic lasso into a path, and then used the pen tool to adjust the points on the path. Um, again, we used the selection tool we have between the pen tool, which was the P key. I select the P key, it highlights the pen tool. If I select the A key, it highlights the selection tool, the right selection tool A. It's the white arrow of the two arrows that reside here. There's a black arrow for the path selection, moves the entire path. The rec selection tool moves just the individual points. The individual points have these handles on them, and we're able to adjust the handles to follow the contour of the character. Um, and now we have the character traced with these pen tool points. I'm going to zoom out here, hit the Z key, Alt, go back a little bit just to see them. So I got things up in the air. What I'm going to do now is to come back to my, I'm in my layers panel, come to my paths panel over here and when I right click on the uh, path panel um, I think I'm going to save this first let me do it I'll double click that and za um, outline and I'll call it that now that I have a name now I'm going to do is to right click on that and I'm going to make a selection so the make selection comes up so there and the new selection anti-alias um, I say OK and OK I just need to move one little thing with this so I have the selection now what I can do is you know, subtract it a pixel and then maybe pull up less of that white line less of the background so let's zoom in and see what we have here so I have it selected so I turned that path back into a selection so we started off with a selection changed it to a path and now we re reverted it back to a selection and now that's a selection we're going to um, isolate uh, my grandson from the background so I come back to my layers go into my background layer what I'm going to do with the background layer I'm going to duplicate this layer I always like to keep my original layer there in case I want to come back to it for whatever reason it's easy to duplicate so right click to duplicate layer. Um, call it Za. Give it a name. Say OK. So now this layer, so I'm going to turn this one off so it won't see. I'll turn off the shape layer. And I'll zoom out again. Hit the Z key. Alt zooms out. Um, now what it, Isaiah is uh, uh, selected here. And what I'm going to do is select the inverse of him. I'm going to get rid of the whole background and keep him. So I'm going to do select inverse. And now everything outside of Isaiah is selected. I'm going to delete. And there he is, high flying in the air. And I'm going to do uh, what I can, how's these dotted lines on there? Um, let me see. I'm going to do control D will deselect it. So now I have Isaiah there. And then just check to see how that looks. So I'm going to put up a new layer by selecting. The new layer, create new layer, created this new layer here. Um, I'm going to come over to, I have a blue, that's fine. I'm going to go my paint buckets over here. My new layer selected. I'm going to paint my paint background, and there's Isaiah. Okay, well, there we go. We've uh, isolated our, our character from the background using the magnetic lasso to select the character, converting the selection into a, a path using the pen tool and the direct select. Um, arrow to modify that path and then reconverting it back into a selection where we're able to delete the background away from the character. Hope that helps and um, we'll see you the next time.